Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me for another video. It's been a few weeks now since I put a video up. That wasn't quite the plan, but I think I alluded to in one, one of my last videos that life has happened, so life has happened again. But anyway, that's why I would urge you to click subscribe and hit the bell icon because then you'll be notified of when I put out a video because even I don't know when I'm going to put out another video, let's be honest. So I'm filming this on Monday evening, so it's pitch dark outside and I've got my ring light on. I'm not quite sure how to use a ring light, so, but it's there and hopefully it's doing its job that it doesn't look as a, as gloomy as it feels here in Dublin. And apparently we're in for a week of very, very cold weather, which is something to look forward to. Anyway, so I'm really, really glad to be back with you guys. I really do miss making these videos. I really do. Uh, so I thought I would give you an update as to what's been happening, where I've been, and then go through this pile of stuff next to me which is a mammoth fabric haul so I basically replenished my entire stash so because the past few weeks have been uh, tricky a little bit stressful and when the going gets tough the tough goes fabric shopping but hopefully this is a safe space and you all know exactly what I'm talking about. So to catch up on where I've been, so um, the end of January, I think, was the last time I put out a video, perhaps, and uh, my older boy was a little bit poorly, so he ended up being poorly for quite a long time, so we were busy looking after him, and then my younger boy was getting sick, and between the two of them, then it was either one or either or both of them were just a bit poorly um, for the past six weeks, really, if I'm perfectly honest. So, but they both seem well on the mend now, and thank you very, very much for all your well wishes in my last video about my older boy, but they're both doing great now, they really are, so they're both fast sleeping in bed and my husband is working upstairs which is why I'm delighted now to get a bit of time to talk to you lovely people. So we had my younger boy's birthday party at the start of February he turned two and we had a lovely time we had um, some family up which was really really nice and if you follow along we've recently got our attic converted so we had people to stay which is very very nice as well so we've just been quite busy work has been absolutely nuts but you're not here to hear you're not here to hear about my job and um, but so that's been keeping me busy as well so between that and the boys and everything so sewing has kind of eked down the the pecking order but I have still been sewing and obviously as I think I said in my last video thinking about sewing and buying sewing things so that's definitely been keeping me busy. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, I'm in the middle of a fundraising challenge so um, there's a hospital in Dublin where I had my two boys and I saw I think randomly on Facebook that they were doing a fundraiser challenge and you needed to walk or run 150 kilometres in March which is basically 5k a day. So I've been leading a pretty sedentary life uh, for the past number of years. I used to be far more active than I am now so would you believe I've done three marathons. Uh, the last one was in 2013 I think so that was 10 years ago. Um, I'll pop in a picture here if I can find it. I did the Paris Marathon in 2013 which seems like an absolute lifetime ago but I used to love it and I used to go running all the time. I really really enjoyed it and then yeah life happens and I just got out of the habit of it. So now having this goal to do and 5k a day is I'm really really enjoying it so I got out today I went uh, out at lunchtime which was lovely because then it lashed rain for the rest of the day and I'm not gonna lie the first few days of doing 5k a day I did feel it but now I'm into the kind of habit of it so yesterday's Monday it's the 6th so I've done 30 kilometers. So I'm hoping to keep that up right until the end of March and everybody knows the last day of March is the 31st of March which is also frocktails but I'll talk more about that shortly as well. So that's been keeping me busy as well but I really enjoy doing that, enjoy keeping active and uh, I'm such a nerd. I love looking at all my stats on my phone after I've come back from a walk as, as I used to um, after I come back from a long run before. So if there are any runners out there you'll know exactly what I feel and uh, those endorphins are back which is great. Um, what else have I been doing? So um, crochet, obviously. So um, I've been doing a little bit of crochet. If you follow along, I did my Santa Claus at Christmas. I've now fallen down a heart rabbit hole. So I've been sewing up or crocheting up these and I just think they are so cute and they take no time at all. And um, I'll link to the pattern. Um, it was, uh, oh, I'll put her name down below here. Lovely lady on Instagram where I saw um, she made them and I was like, oh, this pattern is really cute. So I have just been making loads and loads and loads. So this is the um, large size. And then you get pattern for a 
medium size and then you get a pattern for the tiny size which is the cutest thing ever so uh, yeah basically so I've been a uh, stress crocheting during February but it's actually been quite lovely so I've got absolutely loads of these I think I must have about 30 or 40 of these at this stage and what I plan to do is make them into a little kind of garland and I've got this little bag of pearls and I thought if I could do a little pearl on each one and then make a little garland with all the different shapes or shapes all heart, all the different sizes I think would look really really cute so you can tell this was around Valentine's Day when it all kicked off so they're my little hearts um speaking of rabbit holes so it's coming up to Easter and I can't remember where I saw it it was somewhere on Instagram I think there was a challenge like just a fat quarter or fat quarter challenge or something I can't quite remember I'll pop it down here again as with everything I'll link everything in the description box below um, and actually I'll put in chapters as well because I know some people like to skip between chapters if you're not that into some topic I won't be offended I promise Um, so it's coming up to Easter and I have a lot of fat quarters more on that later so I'm making these and how utterly adorable are these so it takes no fabric at all and um, to make one bunny I think you can make maybe at least two if not three bunnies out of two fat quarters which is so cute so I put a little button nose here on the tutorial which I'll link below they put a little um cotton tail cotton tail in it but I don't have any pom-poms but for the time being he's just a little tiny easter bunny so and uh, he ties with a little hairband that you tie around his ears and then inside he's fully lined so it could actually be reversible really depending on how neat your hand stitching is on the inside and on the inside he's filled with little chocolates so there you go these are beautiful chocolates little dairy milk eggs they are lovely so and he's filled with those so um if you're in my family please look away now because you're probably going to be getting one of these for easter and then you tie up his little ears and you pop the little hair bubble i hope everybody else calls them hair bubbles uh, a little hair bubble on top and you pull out his ears and there's your little easter bunny so how cute are these i just love them and these are the fat quarters i bought from aldi i believe this is the encanto one that i finally found a use for so this is what i've been getting up to so that was a very very long-winded introduction but thank you very much for sticking with me so now i will go to this little pile um i should also i forgot to mention what i'm wearing so this is the toaster sweater the soha 7 toaster sweater in this beautiful cable knit fabric that i got from check out that pattern matching um from the fabric counter so and this is my second one of these actually and i really like it so I'll stand up and give you a quick look and got a little little rosy cheeks label and uh, i will be doing a uh, what did I call it? I called it a tried, tested and twelves plans. So I'm going to be, do my twelves, tested, no, no, tried, tested and twelves makes by the miracle of the internet straight after this. So I'm going to get changed to show you one of my uh, new makes and then I'm going to film that as well back to back and then I'll just have the editing to do. So um, yes, this is one of the makes that I made in that and I really, really like it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this cable neck colour. I have nothing this colour in my wardrobe until now but yes really really enjoy wearing this so without further ado i will get started on my fabric haul or replenishing my stash because if you do watch my channel you know that i have now depleted my entire stash but it is looking very very healthy again have no fear so have i been buying fat quarters from aldi yes i don't even pretend i'm going for milk now i just go in purely to buy fat quarters so i hope where you live you have an aldi close by and that they sell these fat quarters because they are wonderful i did buy blueberries as a token effort for not going in to just buy fat quarters so these are beautiful so this one is called serenity and it's all different kind of florally patterns and then plain green one a little kind of check one a purple one so they're beautiful then there's also some of these i just can't resist this is 101 dalmatians so a little blue one and a little coloredy one on the inside and i won't go through all of these i won't bore you that much um and then another little disney one um this is I think it's Disney princesses so you can see here and then I think is that Mulan and then this one is lovely actually it's just a plain little flowery one and a pinky one with a few little Disney princesses there so Ariel is my favorite Disney princess but you should never change yourself for a man isn't that right now and then next up is Peppa Pig when I saw these jumped at them because we are big fans of Peppa Pig in our house and so it's just all different variations of Peppa really so I think they'd be 
they'll come in um, in handy for the, the boys, anything they'd like me to make for them. And then the last one is called Purpose. And ironically, I don't have a purpose for these, but I'm hoping I will. They're kind of, they're almost 70s-esque patterns, but I think they're really funky. And so maybe I'm thinking that um, these ones would be nice for more Easter bunnies. I think they've got a kind of an Easter spring vibe going for them. So, so yes, I think these cost about 2 99 each, so I could not leave them be. And the blueberries were lovely. Um, next up, I did a bit of shopping on Quilt Yarn Stitch because I needed a few zips. They have a fabulous bag making section, I should say that actually. Um, for my incomplete stitches, Apex Tote, the huge big uh, tote bag I made last summer, I bought all the hardware there and it was fabulous. Um, but for one reason or another, I'm not quite sure why I ended up on the trim section and I found these and I just thought they were the cutest things ever. Totally seasonally inappropriate. I do realise we're in March but they're little Christmas lights and I just thought they were so cute and then of course I went on from there and decided I needed jingle bells so I got these apologies noisy so these are all different colours can you see those little purples and pinks and stuff and I thought I needed them so what my plan for this is that's very noisy apologies so I'm going to put these away until Christmas and then I'm going to make myself a Christmas jumper. And um, a lovely lady on Instagram um, told me about this pattern company called Mizuzu, which I'd never heard of before. And they have the most fabulous patterns. I can't believe I've never heard of them before. But they have this folded Christmas tree pattern. So this one is actually for children, but I think you could scale it up. I think it would be quite easy, easy to do on um when you can choose the scale to print it at on your computer. So, and it's basically kind of folded Christmas tree thing like that. And I think this pattern just with a plain jumper with those little lights and a few little jingle bells. How cute would that be? So I'm going to put these away and you won't see them until Christmas, I promise. So that was my little quilt yarn stitch haul. I shall now move on to Crafty Studio. So I went up to Crafty Studio last weekend because she now has her shop dangerously close to my house and uh, I brought the two boys up which is hilarious. They spent the entire time playing with the thread display. So Anne-Marie if you're watching I apologise if all the threads are completely in the wrong place. So and I did pick up, pick up an order I had um, ordered previously and then I found some things when I was there so I just had the most wonderful um, time there. I think I probably spent um, more time there than I should really so the boys are ready to go home but anyway um so first up I got this lovely um knit fabric and let me see which way it goes this way I think and it's a beautiful it's called old green and it's got these tiny tiny little cables in it I think it's lovely and it's got a great stretch to it and so I will tell you all about these plans actually in another video but for now I'll just show you the fabrics so I think that is lovely so yeah really like that I think I got two meters of that I think um Emery at the time was doing a little sale on cotton so yes so had to pick up this lovely thing so I just adore a flamingo so a little a piece of cotton I just love having these in my stash I really do I think it's so pretty and then next up is another cotton but this is really cool it's a Natural History Museum cotton. So it's got the coolest print to it. So dinosaurs, obviously, but planets, bees, test tubes, all kind of sciencey stuff. And I was going to make my little boy a bag just because he likes kind of carrying around little, little bits and pieces. And Amory has recently start, uh, started stocking this lovely webbing. So I got that for the handles. I think it's just far easier and more hard wearing than using um, fabric straps. So I think this would be really, really cute for him. Next up, um, I told the boys, I totally lured them to the fabric shop with a promise of pyjamas um, and they picked this lovely cotton jersey with lovely sharks. I've got upside down, this way. There we go, so it's a beautiful cotton jersey and um, I make them the kids pyjamas uh, from Made By Me Patterns and it fits them really, really well. So I thought this was very, very cute. And to go with this, I was able to get this lovely um, ribbing fabric. So I think these would be very, very nice together. I think they, they match perfectly, those greys. Then this beauty, which I'd seen on the website for a long, long time, and then I saw it on, purpo on purpose in person, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It's a modal jersey, so it's got beautiful drape to it, and it's kind of got these kind of leopard printy splodges on a navy background. It's got a lovely stretch, and yeah, it's just beautiful. I think this is lovely, so looking forward to make some, making something out of this. I think I got a metre and a half of that. Then next up is this lovely um, rib. It's It's not really a rib knit, but it's... It is a rib knit, but not really kind of like the thin flat ribs. It's more kind of 
ridgy so I got this in navy let me see does it bring this is where my ring light comes in handy there you go so lovely fabric great stretch to it a uh, bit of 4A stretch actually I think that is lovely so that's the navy colorway and then I also got it in grey which is very very nice so she has the most gorgeous fabric as always so I got grey as well then um shall we talk about frocktails I think we will so I did buy my Frocktails fabric in Crafty Studio, obviously. So she is uh, one of the organisers. So I'll link it below. Um, so Frocktails, 31st of March. There's a few tickets left. If you're on the fence, please, please, please consider coming. It's going to be the most brilliant night. And if you do have a ticket, please leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to know who's coming. And please, on the night, please come up and say hello. I'd love to, to say hello to all you lovely people. Um, so I bought my fabric. And will I show you it? I think I will. So here we go. This is my fabric for Frocktails and it is the most beautiful uh, stretch velvet. And look at that colour, kind of um, tealy, peacocky fabric and it's just so lovely and soft and it's so drapey and so gorgeous so I cannot wait to get started on this. I have been twalling so I will show you that in my next video and see if you can guess the pattern. Um, however, one of the lovely ladies um, also organising Frocktails, Anna, she, we have a WhatsApp group and we were chatting away and she mentioned that she had just bought a blue glittery jersey from Amory. So I was like, where is this glittery jersey? So I sent me the link, I had a quick look, I was like, yes, I need that in my life. And then she just off the cuff mentions, oh, she has it in three colours. So I bought the three colours. It is stunning. So here is the blue. And here is the gold and here is the silver. Aren't they just majestic? So they are fabulous. So um, this is what they look like. So this is the silver and a stretch this way. Oh, a lot of stretch this way actually. And the just the most beautiful colours. So yes, watch this space to see what I'm going to be making out of these, but they are just wonderful. So I got quite a lot of the blue and then I think I just got maybe half a metre of the gold and silver. Um, so yeah, they're just wonderful. So thank you very much, Anna. And then last but not least, I also picked up this bit of cotton fabric because this is going to be part of my bag for Frocktails. But again, more on that later. So that was my huge haul from Crafty Studio, which was wonderful. Um, and uh, my husband asked when he came home, um, how many bags did mummy buy? And yes, my little boy, he was great. She just said, oh, I don't know. So of course, yes, I was so proud of him. But anyway, so I had a great time up there. And the last thing I'll run you through is my haul from Ecobee. So once in a while on Ecobee, Elby puts out a pre-order. So she put out this pre-order for spring fabric and I just fell in love with some of the pieces. So I did a little order and I also threw in a few um, non-pre-order bits and pieces and they all arrived this week and I'm just delighted with them. So first up is this beautiful brushed French terry. So the right way yes and so this beautiful bottle green so she does these colors and she does them in cotton jersey in brushed french terry in loop back french terry and in ribbing and cuffing but they're all kind of numbered and all the same color so i bought this colorway in a cotton jersey last summer and i made one of my favorite t-shirts the half moon atelier librea t-shirt with the lovely um binding across um the shoulders so i knew that this is a color that i really, really liked i think it's called bottle green so this is the brushed french terry a lovely brush in the back it's so lovely and soft so i think i bought a meter and a half of this and i also bought the matching ribbon here we go so i know that that's going to match perfectly so i loved getting that and then the other bits i got were the pre-order stuff so we're all in a little eastery frame of mind so this little easter fabric which is just gorgeous I'm wondering which way it goes up so this is cotton jersey and it's got little bunnies and little Easter eggs and it's the cutest thing. It's got beautiful stretch, lovely structure to it. So that's going to be super cute. Then the next one um, is obviously dinosaurs. And this is little fossils. So uh, yeah, you can name all the dinosaurs. Isn't that fun? So I love this. I think it's called Under the Ground, which I really, really like. So uh, no guesses for um, who am I going to make a jump out of that for. And then the next one is for me and this is marvellous it's full-blown sewing cotton jersey isn't that just fabulous you've got your sewing machines vintage and modern you've got your scissors needles I just think this is fabulous so this again is cotton jersey 
so you shall have to wait and see my plans for these and to go with all these as a kind of um, a contrast um say for neck bands and things i got this beautiful baby blue cotton jersey as well so i think that matches um with each of them so love that um she also threw in a few kit kats which kept my husband happy right um and finally i've been buying some patterns so you can tell it was a busy busy month can't you so first up i got the jackson uh, because when I went to Crafty Studio, the lovely Sheila O'Kelly, I'll link her channel below, she was actually teaching a class for the Jackson Pullover and they just looked wonderful. So I went straight home and bought it. So it's a unisex pattern by Helen's Closet and I've seen some beautiful, beautiful versions. So I was really um, keen to get my hands on this one. Next up is, and I'm blaming Amory in the Crafty Studio for this because she has um, this as samples in her shop. And it's a Waves and Wilds kids pattern. It's called the Adventure Raglan. So you can do it just as a crew neck with pockets, uh, a double uh, button front opening, which is kind of nice. And then a side, just one side opening with this beautiful kind of a crossover, flap over neckline. I think it's really, really nice. And um, hopefully by the time I get this out, Waves and Wilds are having their second birthday and there's 40% off all patterns, which is marvellous. I think this ended up costing me about a fiver. Then I went down a rabbit hole as I tend to do on Love Notions patterns. So around this time last year I made the Fraser cardigan in this beautiful um, pale blue colour which I love and I always wanted to buy more Love Notions patterns. So I had a quick look at their website and came up with three that I fell in love with. So the first one is the Whistler sweater and hoodie. So you can do all these different versions and I just think it's lovely. It's got this shawl collar, you can do a hood, you can do a gathered front, a non-gathered front and these really, really cool pockets and you can do it as a jumper all the way up to a dress. I thought that was really, really nice. I just love that neckline actually. And then the next Love Notions was the Sloan sweater. So I was really taken by the pa the patches at the back. I can look like an academic. And the yoke at the back, you can do crew neck and you can do a hoodie as well. I really like the look of this one. You can also do the banded um, hem and just the, um, the straight hem. And then last, but by no means least, is the Lotus Blossom blouse, which I think looks really nice. So you can do this lovely, lovely twist front. And then the back you can do plain or you can do a kind of an insert. So if you had kind of a lacy fabric, you could do it at the back, which I think is really, really interesting. So these are my patterns. So as you can tell, that was just a bumper, bumper month. So I, I've been doing a little bit of sewing, but I've been more kind of replenishing sewing for more sewing come March. So if you've made it this far, thank you very much. This ended up being quite a long video. Thank you very, very much. Um, by the power of internet and time, I'm going to throw on one of my new makes and I'm going to come straight back in here and to film my tried, tested and twals um, makes video. And hopefully I'll have those two up for you fairly soon. Um, I also would like to do a spring plans video. As you can see, I have plenty of fabric. Um, I also... At Christmas, um, in my vlogmas, I had made my mum an iPad stand, which she really liked. And I made my granny one recently as well, and she really liked it. So a few of you have said that you would like a little kind of sew along on that pattern. So I'm going to make one for myself and I'm going to film a little sew along. So I'm hoping to have that up to you fairly soon as well. Um, I've been keeping up with uh, So Frugal 23. So I'm not taking part in the vlogger tour this year. I loved doing it last year, but for, for one reason or another, I wasn't able to do it this year, but I've been really enjoying everybody's videos. Um, but I think I do have one thing that I'll be able to make for that challenge. So fingers crossed, but I'll keep you posted on that as well. So thank you very, very much for sticking around. Go get yourself a well-earned cup of tea. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you along on my sewing journey. And I hope you're all well and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.